Hello, darlings. Happy Monday to everybody out there. Welcome to another week on the channel and welcome to Let's Build the World. And welcome. We are on a new lot today, my love. We are going to be doing the Bat or Chateau Batiste. It's going to be called after the owner herself, Miss Mrs. Betsy Batiste. I will introduce you to this family in just a second. I hope you're all okay. I hope you all had a nice weekend. I definitely did. It was much needed. I feel refreshed, ready to come back in with some more content this week. So I cannot wait to delve into a new family today. No, I can't. Look, got a new thing in my office. It's, I like it too much. <laughs> this is going to sound really weird. I'm moving it. <laughs> it's going to go into my main bedroom. I love it that much. It's an old 1950s um, sideboard. It's so gorgeous, but I don't think I like it in my office. Um, And I, I I want shelves back, but I didn't like the shelves that I had last time. So I'm, I found some shelves that I really like. So it's going to stay here temporarily until the shelves that I am going to buy are going to be here. But look at it. It's very gorgeous. You can't probably see it very well. But let me move away. Look. <gasps> look at you. Oh, she's very pretty. Very pretty indeed. So, um, yeah, that's going to be happening. So the background will be changing um, again. It will. It will. Anyway, I don't know why I'm going on about that. But I am. I am. So this week, we've got more Let's Build the Worlds coming, more of the Potter Project, and another Design Me Devon as well, which will be coming out this Friday. Don't forget, for you Twitch viewers, my schedule has now changed permanently to Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 7pm GMT. Um, and that's it. You're up to date. Let's get in and meet the fam. Okay, my darlings, here we are. We are going to be building the Chateau Batiste. On this lot here. Now, we were going to go for a mansion, but I've decided against it. I really want to build a modern mansion. And it's going to go down on this bigger lot here with another family. Now, you've got to remember, this is the very elusive, exclusive area of Willowbrook. Willowbrook? Of Willow Creek. Um, so these families are very, very rich. As you can tell, they've got 2,300,000 smoleons here. And I will tell you why they've got that much money in just a second. Yes, I will. So this is where we're going to be building it today. I've actually, I did a little practice build of the facade. I've seen some reference images here and there. We're going to go for a kind of chateau style build for this. Not a huge house, three bedrooms, but very exclusive indeed. Very exclusive. And yeah, that's what we're going to do here. This is this lot here. Now this, my darlings, is the family. Now, this is the main character from this family. She's like, hi. This is Betsy Batiste. She is a fashion designer, a very exclusive fashion designer. They're actually Italian as well, this family. They moved to Willow Creek many years ago just to get away from... They used to live in Delso Valley. I did have to go and check that then because I've completely forgot the name. So they used to have a big mansion in Delso Valley. But um, Betsy used to get completely fed up with people trying to sneak into her home. She had a couple of uh, robberies, which is never a good thing. Um, so lo millions, millions of simoleons of pounds and dollars worth of her jewelry was stolen in those robberies. So she wanted to get away from all that. And Willow Creek was where she wanted to come to. So she did. She bought her family. We will introduce you to her family in just a second. Now she is a fashion designer. So we are going to be building a retail lot in willow creek as well that's where i said that like boutique -y, very exclusive designer outfits are going to be showcased in there she has got quite i like her fashion sense it's a little bit mm, quite a little bit androgynous very her very this top here is from the star wars pack i think i just really liked her in this outfit i just thought it looked really cool so that's what i did very fashion forward very high fashion now she's a little bit self-assured of herself she doesn't mix with the riffraff. Bella Goff has been trying to make her for years join part of the lady club. I don't know what we're going to call her the lady club yet. So I'd love to hear some ideas from you guys. But she was having none of it. She doesn't mix with the riffraff. She keeps away from the neighbours and everything. Doesn't make friends really outside of her own social circles. So she's a little bit of a twat, to be honest with you. 
but she's here and she's a global superstar because everybody knows her name everybody wears her clothes those that can afford it and yes that's where i want to go with her she's a she's going to be an interesting sim to kind of get across really and i'm i'm really looking forward to it i am now this gorgeous man here is giovanni rosso she did she didn't take giovanni's name when they were married main reasons being the brand of her designer is batiste i'm gonna say it's batiste i thought that sounded very nice um so we're gonna go for that we're gonna go for that now i know um batiste is probably not an italian name it could be french but um we're, we're not gonna go for major realism darling so i don't need anybody to pipe up in the comments thank you so giovanni is an actor he is in he's a hollywood actor so he's in all of the major film releases he's the heart throb of the world there's lots of people who absolutely adore him and i can completely see why because he's absolutely 100 percent gorgeous and i'm absolutely here for it so let me see your face open your eyes darling stop looking down at your child oh where did you blow that kiss then but yeah he is handsome very very handsome man oh oh hello <laughs> get your mustache out darling um yeah and he's a little bit more down to earth he talks to people he's um friends with a few of the uh fathers and mothers around in the world of willow creek and i just love him i think he's really really lovely he's very fashion forward again very nice in the blue and i'm absolutely for it really really am um and one thing with giovanni though he has got a stalker there is a stalker that lives in willow creek that i will be making and they track giovanni down they always manage to appear in the places that giovanni least expects them to appear in sometimes even their back garden which is a little bit freaky oh my god is that oh it is it's the lies pancakes over there i thought i could see you creeping in um so yes we definitely need to make that apparent as well so we will be doing a little stalker build at some point too <laughs> now this little gorgeous sweet thing here is augustus now augustus did take his father's surname so it's augustus russell um and he's lovely he's lovely he's a well-behaved kid um, craving a little bit of more attention from his mum. I reckon there's a nanny in this build as well, which I definitely want to do. I don't know whether to bring them in as a family member or a household member and make them primarily look after Augustus. Because as you can imagine, Giovanni's probably away filming on all of his films and whatnot. And I would imagine um, Betsy is around the world looking at all of her flagship stores. She has this global brand that is just very high fashion people just think of your chanel's she's up there with the chanel's and the louis vuitton's she is up there with them so that is what's going to be happening today my darlings i really like this family i like the step away from all of the others a little bit more uh, illustrious shall we say with this and that is going to come into play when we build this house as well cannot wait to get started on this so i think without further ado I'm going to flop up the little screenshot I took of the build I did earlier. And then I'm going to start building. I won't show you though because it was spoiled the surprise. Now I did have my little screenshot up here as well from what I did earlier. So that is what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. Um, so the house from the front looks quite sort of slimline. But this house is quite long. It does go down quite a way, I think. I haven't really mapped out down that far. I did want this house to... To look very it's still very affluent very rich but i didn't want it to be huge i didn't want it to be too massive now we are getting um inspiration from the kind of french chateau vibe that's what i'm gonna go for so hopefully we can make this apparent as we come down the build oh that sounded filth but it kind of was so that's what we're gonna do darling yes we are um you to there is that wide enough there or do i want to go for like more of a that vibe oh i think i'm gonna do that that will give us more room to play with as well so I, I did a six there i did a six so it's a six to there and then i'm going to come down a five here as well one two three four five there we go let me see that floor plan yes yes no that's fine mm -hmm. oh i'm happy i'm very happy so from the front it looks quite and that's what i wanted it's what i want it is. It's, what, it's what's going to happen, darlings. Both walls being on medium height as well. Now, the lighting here is a bit fugly. Um, that's probably okay, actually, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. That, I hate that lighting for some reason because it just puts shadow on the walls. So this one's probably the best. <laughs> we'll stay there. We're going to come all the way down here. And I think I'm just going to box this whole area in and see what we can get from that. 
Um, I don't know if I want to wing out the side here as well. Mm. No, I don't. No, because I want to put a roof line on that instead. I do want to put a roof line on that, but I think I want to add in some chimneys on either side there. Chimney there and a chimney there. And we'll see what we get with that as well. Now we are going to play respects to that kind of roof line that we were doing a lot in the actual no we did it in both we did it in the residential and the commercial lots that's what we're going to do today love so we need to get out those beautiful no not half gable darling half hipped half hipped all the way along to there scooby dooby doo and before i go any further with this i'm going to do what i need to do every time and always forget is get the top roof on first like so whiffle it back into submission right there i'm gonna pull that down to there and i think what i want to do here actually is come out three here as well so i can put a little cheeky something on the top there rather than putting in the dormers themselves or do i want to come right forward with that maybe actually coming right forward with it yeah i think i do i think i might i think i bloody might do you know Okay, so we've got that sorted. Now, is that at the right height? No. So this is what I always make the mistake of. I put this roof on afterwards and then I have to go around and correct all the other roofs to make them fit. And they bloody well don't. Um, Is that a little bit of white there? I think that will be fine. That will be fine. Right, let's get you, darling. I need... Can I copy you, please? Thank you so much. And then I'm going to flop you into there, sweetie. And then all the way along to here as well. And the same on this side, but these I can literally just copy over now, which is stunning. I'm always looking around my keyboard to see what key I'm pressing. I can't... Sorry, I'm grabbing my mic. I'm not really a big touch typer. I tend to look at my keys like quite a lot. Is anybody else like that out there? <laughs> um, but I'm not a slow typer either. You know, the more you know, the more you absolutely well know. And that's all I can say. Right, chimney... I was thinking more along the lines of using these. Let me see where that would be. Yeah, I think so. Because the smoke would still go over the top of the build. Or do we want to go up one more? I'm going to test it. Testicles. We are. We're going to test it, darling. So I'm going to flop you up there and just see what you look like on a bit more of a substantial... Oh, Christ. Just get down. Just get down to that level, for goodness sake. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's better. We'll just leave it like that. It probably won't meet up to regulations and standards. But I don't care. I don't care. It's my house. Well, it's not mine. But you get where I'm coming from. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to do a conservatory out the back. I think what I'm going to do is do a little extension of a conservatory out the back and put a nice glass conservatory there, darlings. Yes, I am indeed. Okay, we do need to put a roof line on top here as well. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe doing a little curved roof, which is what I've got in my screenshot from earlier. I had like a little curved roof moment. Um, but I don't know if that was going to... Oh, that still looks pretty cute, actually. Maybe just slightly curved. Yes, like that. Oh, I'm for it. Yes. Now, the windows is what I use. Well, the university windows. Um, where are you? And the big... These ones here... And I did use them in a white. So I think I'll use them here in a white again as well. Now, I think you went right to the end. Is that right? Oh, no. You're like... Is my quarter tile placement not on? It's not. How dare me? That's why it was weird. Okay, so you were there. You were there. And then you were in the middle. And then these went down here. Yes. Um, And I think I put them... I can't remember where I put them. They look to be quite near the floor, actually. So I'm going to do that. And you're going to whiffle in there, darling. Yes, you are. Yes, you are indeed. Oh, yes. That's the vibe. And I did actually put on these um, trims. The ones from Vampires. God, that seems like so long ago now, Vampires. Still one of the best game packs, I think. And I'm not even a fan of the occults um, in The Sims. Any of the iteration of The Sims, I've, I was never a fan of them, really. Oh, no, they were, like, literally on the floor. Okay. Do I want to do that, though? 
Let me see what... Oh, I remember looking in and they were still away from the floor. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. We can do that just because it's missing the detail at the top. And I still want to see some of that detail, which is why I put it there in the beginning, I believe. Yes, I believe. <laughs> um, yeah, nice. And then here, what I did is I used one of these. Where are you? Oh, uh, uh, where are you? Oh, maybe you're in short then. Maybe they're in short. Oh, no, they're not. Where are they? Right, I'm going to find what I'm looking for. I finally found what I've been looking for. Now you know I'm going to love you more. Hold me tight, because it's always been you. <laughs> Who's that again? Shola Amma? No, the Honeys? Something like that. 90s. Very 90s in the UK. I think they were a UK band. Um, you're welcome. You know, for a song on a Monday. I mean, I'm here to provide the content. Provide the content. Provide the dream. The dreamful song that I just whiffled away then. You're very much welcome. You do not need to thank me in the comments. But if you do, again, you're welcome. You... <laughs> You are welcome. <laughs> why am I like this? The question is always asked. Why? But um, we just, we, we're just used to it now. We're just used to how I am. Yeah, that was the one I used. I didn't like the lighting in there, but we can sort that out. That's fine. Now, what I want to do is raise your... No, there's not another song, Aiden. Shut, shut, shut the face off now. Shut the face up. Right. And then what I did... Is I flopped on, and this is as far as I got with the shell as well. So anything after this, we're going to make up and test and testicles and see what we've done. Aren't we? Aren't we, darlings? Yes, we are. Yes, we are indeed. Okay, and then I'm going to flop another one in here. Uh, there we go. Stunning. Don't get rid of that wall. Thank you. And then that one goes into there. And then that one goes all the way to there. Do I want to do... No, I don't. I was just about to say, do I want to join this around here, maybe? Or do I? Let me see this. Will that take away the slim aspect of what I've gone for in the front? Let me see. Oh, no, I don't like that. I prefer this. That's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. And then what I did here is just I'm putting in placeholder stuff for the minute until we've got everything settled in. But I do want like a white stone. Oh, how dare you? A white stone... Oh, yes. Oh, I'm for it. Absolutely for that. So that is as far as what I got. Um, we didn't even add chimneys last time. The chimneys have just set it off lovely. So I haven't picked wallpapers. We haven't done a floor plan. Um, and I don't know what wallpaper I want to use on this. So I'm going to test a few. Let's look cool. And then I'm going to come back in and you will see what wallpaper this place is going to be. So I've made a start. I think this wallpaper looks great with it. We've gone for a green roof as well, which I kind of like with the grey. I'm here for it. I absolutely am. Now, the in interior indoors. So we've got the main entrance here. There's going to be a big bathroom here. This is going to be the living area or the dining room. Well, either one of these are going to be either, either of both. And this is going to be a big kitchen diner with a lovely little conservatory moment out the back. Now upstairs, it was a bit of a struggle to try and fit in bedrooms in here. Main reasons being it's quite a slim house. So I've gone for a two bedroom. So they've got a two bedroom house. They downsized from an eight bedroom house. They just wanted a bit more of a simple life. Um, we can't judge them for it, you know? So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. Anyway, moving on, darlings. So I want to use this university fencing out here. I think it would look absolutely smashing at the front here. I think it really would. Do I want to come in one there? Let me see. No, because they're not going to be able to walk either over it. Oh, I don't think they will be able to anyway. It's a shame because these stairs look really nice. Why would that delete that? Oh, it's because I got rid of this. No, there's no reason. Because Sims. That's why. That's why I did it. That is why I did it. Because Sims, Aiden. Right, moving on. So, pop you into there. Oh, I should have done that after, actually. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do? <gasps> Maybe I could... No. <laughs> But I say maybe I could make my own staircase with platforms. 
but I don't want it to take away from the chateau vibe that I've got going. And that would take it away. And we don't want to take it away, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so I'm putting you to there now. So these stairs will probably... I'm going to use the marble stairs. The posh marble. The marble numbers. Let me have a little look at you. Oh, you look glorious there, darling. Yes, we'll go for that. Um, Let's get that all back in and indoors in there, if you would, please. Thank you. Let me see that. Oh, that's better. Yes, that's a vibe. Okay, okay. Um, First things first, I need to get some trims on. So I'm going to use these ones here in the grey, I think. Let me see that once again, the camera is an asshole. <laughs> I don't think there will ever not be a part of any kind of build that I do where I'm not shouting at the Sims 4 camera. Well, Sims 3 camera in Sims 4 people like to remind me now do these need to come in one more i did like over flap them um i prefer them big i think yeah i prefer them bigger no we'll keep it like that oh that's stunning i've also gave this lot some traits as well i am um, gave it a private dwelling good schools and celebrity home so very exclusive this place now fencing I was thinking about using either... No, I don't think this one here is going to be the vibe. And I hate the swatches that this came in as well. Um, That one's not too bad. Oh, that one's not too bad at all, actually. It goes with the house quite nicely. But maybe uh, that is quite private as well. I do want it to kind of hold some privacy. What would you look like, darling? Oh, Christ. What would you look like? You're not really tall enough, to be honest. So that's a definite maybe, that one. Maybe I could use the Victorian gate as well in a white or a grey with gold. Gold. Um, I don't know what one I prefer. I love that one. That one goes nice with the house as well. Um, Or shall we go for the Get Famous fencing? We're going to do it. We're going to use the Get Famous fencing. Now, pissed off. Because this doesn't fit in front of the stairs there. So what I'm going to do is do two entrances. Maybe one side for like a little car park moment on the other. So I think I'm going to do that, darling. Yes, I am. I'm going to pop one there. This does make it look a little bit more exclusive, to be honest with you. And I'm kind of for it. I'm going to flop another one to there. We'd probably need to wrap this whole house in this. Again, for privacy reasons. So I am going to do that. I don't normally do that because I mix it up with like hedges and things but I think for this lot I'm going to do it oh I really really hate how that looks <laughs> I hate I don't know why I just hate wrapping uh build it all in the same fence it just really bothers me so I'm going to open it out is that equal I think that one needs to come in one more maybe 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 mm, and I'll do the same over here and I'm going to put a hedge in that bit there I just can't I can't deal with that not in the slightest. Two more on that side as well. Oh, no. Three more. Christ. Oh, God. Right. Fucking do it. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Glad that worked first time. Anyway, moving on. So, this is going to glitch out now. I might put you there and then put another one there. You know, it's very exclusive in this area. Ugh. Why are you doing that? Stop it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Very exclusive. I keep saying very exclusive because it is. It is very exclusive. And what more can be said? You know, let me find the hedge of dreams. There we go. I'll put one on that side and we'll do another one here too. I had to double it up because it was a little bit short. So I'll flip them either way. Is that balanced? That's balanced. We're for it. Okay, I've got a primarily shaped thing, what I want, I think. <laughs> I think. It's a shame this house can't sit directly in the middle, but it's because of the size of it. It's not going to be able to, darlings. Not going to be able to at all. So I think what I'm going to do is wrap this around here. Oh, no. Do I want to do a smaller one there? I mean, I'll, I'll test it. I'll test it and see the waters. I did want to put a little gate there as well, I think. 
No, I tested a gate and stuff there. It didn't work. So I don't know what we're going to do with that just yet. I think we'll do like a little hedge moment around here. So I'm just going to leave that as it is for the minute and move on. I'm going to move on to start detailing the facade now. So that's probably what primarily this whole part episode etc is going to be about we're going to be doing some detailing now i'm using these what i use to death these are from jungle adventure and i love them they just come in so handy for any kind of build that you want a little bit more detail on the front i just wish that they would release more stuff like this please release more stuff like this sims team because it comes in so handy for us builders out there to be able to put extra detail on the front of a build that would probably either be very flat or very boring um and i'm for it so thank you and good day and i would also like to ask when is the sims 5 coming out thank you <laughs> what's that the stairs are now poking through the sides of the walls oh for goodness oh goodness right and then you there lovely and then you on this side as well gorgeously stunning oh Yes, that's going to that's give me some nice details around there. Do I want to do them in the middle as well, like around here? I think I do. I think I want to go a bit more closer though, like I... Yeah, like there and there. Oh, that looks pretty. Yeah, we like that. We like that indeed. So I reckon this house was still built in the 1800s. I reckon it was still built in the 1800s. Um, Maybe owned by a very rich merchant and his family or something. Um, So, yes got lots of history it's a historic house this one so we're gonna have to make that apparent too okay stunning i'm for it now we've got a toilet up here so i am going to add in another one of these windows just here like so it is missing some of that detailing because of the trim which is a little bit annoying but i'm not gonna let it come between us to be honest with you to be honest with you i haven't got the bloody patience for it um do i want to use some different windows here Oh, I think we might do. I think we'll use the either these or these. No, they're too small. Those have got a bit more pizzazz about them. So I'm going to use these, I think. Shall I do three? Shall I do three on this? Let me see. Oh. Let me see that. Oh, what about five? Well, could I put this one around on the corner as well? Let me see this. Let me see what we're working with. Show me what you're working with. Show me. Come on, show me. <laughs> um, let me see. I like it. I do. I do like that. I think we're going to go for it. I don't know whether to just whiffle these across a little bit more, though, rather than having them pushed up that way. Let me see that. No, 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 no. Definitely not. No, that is not the vibe. Okay, yep, we'll stick with them on these bits here, then. So I'll do the same over this side here that... um uh that thing poking through the wall there is infuriating but there's nothing i can do about it because you know the answer to that because sims um there we go see that yeah that's cute i like that i'm gonna do some cypress trees out here as well i think maybe going in a formation of some description towards the build oh yes or maybe these these are nice as well i love those little like thin pine trees yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm vibing with that. Now, I can't put a window here because it would just look weird. Um, And where did this one go? Did I put one there? Maybe I didn't. I got rid of... The, I didn't put that one down. There's a there's a window at the front anyway, and this is going to be a toilet. So that doesn't matter too much at all. Now, this is the... Oh, God. This is going to be the, the kitchen. Now, it's going to be hard to put ki these windows on here because I'm going to run out of counter space. Unless I do a counter space like along there, maybe an island. I don't know. Do I want to put... I'll put one in. I'll put... I'll treat them to one. That's all they're getting. Uh, is that in the middle? No, but that is. And the same here as well. Lovely. And then above. So below. Um, I think I'm going to put in one of these up just above here. Just so it's balanced. It's got Georgian... Um, Georgian balance, <laughs> if that's a thing, it is now. I've decided. Then you in the middle there, darling, and then you will go to there, like so. Why are you? I oh, know there. There we are. Yes. Now this is going to be like a little sunroom moment. 
So I, we need to get a roof shape on here. That's going to look quite nice. I think we still need to come out this way. So I think I'm just going to use a normal gabled. A normal gabled roof. Let's get, oh. Oh, no. Oh, maybe I'll have to get rid of that middle window then. Yeah, we can get rid of the middle window. It's fine. All flaps in. Everyone tuck your flaps in. Been enough flaps recently to last me a century. Uh, oh. <laughs> I definitely haven't, by the way. <laughs> Sims four flaps. No, come on. Get your mind out of the gutters. I've just grabbed a hedge as well. Um, I almost want to come out one more with this. I think I'm going to. This is going to be like a lovely little sunroom moment. And I'm going to do... Oh, I'm going to do a big platform moment out here. So if I can just... Can I just copy you and place you out here? And then I can like maybe morph you into shape. Maybe. I did copy these as well. I don't need you just yet, darling. But I will need you. I need you. Right, if you can go there. Okay. And then can I slot that in? Let me see. Let's see. Right, okay. Now I can pull this in. Mm, I'm going to widen this bit, filth. No, I'm not, because I want it to go into there. So I'm going to pull it outwards instead. We're definitely going to have a pool here. I might even do like a pool house, like under some glass or something. I think we'll do that instead, because it's Willow Creek. Um, No, do you know what? I am going to widen these. I'm going to widen it to there, and I'm going to pull it down to that moment instead, rather than that moment. I think that would be much better shape-wise through the back then. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, some for it. I don't think I'm going to do stairs there. I think I'm going to do them. Oh, I don't really want to do them off the side, though. Main reasons being I want to get a pool house in now that I've said it. Uh, I also changed the stairs in the front as well. They just weren't vibing with me, loves. They weren't vibing. Now, do I want to do a three? I think we're going to have to. Yes. And then I don't think that these paint underneath. Oh, there they do. I will rest my case. Um... We don't have matching banisters with these either. Because. That's correct. That is correct. Well done. Well done to those that got it right. <laughs> um, so I don't. I don't you know what. We'll figure out. Ban we'll figure out a banister when we get to it. I think what I need to do is find the windows for the conservatory. And I don't know whether I'm going to do entrances here. And have this just as a seating area. That would probably make sense. Do you know the door that might work here? This one. Oh, it kind of does. Can I flop you that way though? Oh yeah, I like that. We'll do we'll do one off of either side here. Yeah, so both doors are. Oh yes, I'm for it. Absolutely for that. I really am. Um do you want to go for a bit more like this vibe here? I think so. The only problem is I hate when the glass joins on the wall. Do you know what I mean? I don't like that. And there we have it. I've used the Strangerville windows. I think they suit it. Still need some details on that. I want some pillars. I want some pillars on quite a bit of this build, actually. But I'm not sure where I'm going to do them yet. Um, And I've also used a tiny little university one at the top. I like the vibe. I'm for it. I'm going to leave that where it is. Yes, I am. And we're going to start doing a bit more detailing to the front. First things first, I need to get a fence up here. I'm thinking actually about using this fence up here. I think it would really, really look nice. So I'm going to do that, I think. Oh, you bet we are. Oh, I'm for that. Really am. What would the university things look like on the top windows? The, these, these things here. Especially if I shrunk them down. Oh, Oh, just like one. Uh, oh. oh, 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 I'm for that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I am. Yes, that's a vibe. We still haven't picked a window for up here yet. I'm unsure of what window we're going to do there. I want to put them on these as well. I think we need to put them on the top ones rather than the bottom. So I will stick to the top. <laughs> that sounds filth. But um, I'm constantly sticking to a top. <laughs> If you get my drift, darlings, I'm sure you do, because you're all disgusting. I'm for it. I really am. 
Um, oh, little update for you. I've emailed some more people for the merch. Um, so we'll wait on hearing back from them now. If you guys missed it, I was in talks with a merch company to design my merch for me. And they, for a couple months, and it was all going ahead and it was all very nice and la da da. And then they decided that they're going for a rebrand. Um, and they could no longer work or work with any new creator. So I was like, oh, great. <laughs> so I've just wasted my time. Um, um, she was very lovely. She was very lovely, very apologetic. And she put me in contact with other people as well or other companies. Um, so I'm very, very happy with that. So thank you to that person that did that for me. I very, 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 very much appreciate it. So we should be getting some merch within the next few months. Question mark. I don't know when, I don't know where, but it's going to happen. And the ones that I'm looking at, they all seem really great. So yes, vibes, loves, vibes. Oh, I'm off the vibes. You know me. You know me. When it comes to a vibe, I'm there. I'm absolutely there for it. I really am. If there was a vibe, if I saw a vibe down the street, I'd be like, do you know what? I'm there for you. <laughs> I am absolutely there for you. <laughs> oh, laugh a fucking minute in here. It really is. Oh, life. Oh, life. No, don't sing. Don't sing, especially not. What's that? Oh, what was she called again? It was the most awful lyric in any song I've ever heard. What was the lyric? I'm going to have to sing it to you. I don't want to see a ghost. I'd rather eat a piece of toast and watch the evening news. Life. Oh, life. Oh. <laughs> what a lyric. I'd, I bet, like, a boardroom of people made that. I don't want to see a ghost. I'd rather eat a piece of toast. Oh, do you know what? Put that in. That song is amazing. <laughs> Get that in there. I am for that lyric. Really <laughs> Can you imagine? They, that was a serious song as well. Oh, what was she called again? Was it Desiree? Desiree. Can't remember. I'm sure one of you guys would let me. Let me know. You know, toast, ghost. That's what it all comes down to in life, to be honest with you. Toast and ghosts. <laughs> oh, you're not in the right position. How very dare you. How very dare you indeed. Um, and there we go. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Oh, yeah, but that shelving unit that I was telling you about what I'm getting. You know. Um, it's like an industrial shelving unit. It's lovely. Really, really nice. Really big as well. So it will fill up the whole back wall, hopefully. Um, which is what I want to put all my trinkety bits on. Um, yeah, it's huge. So, the end. That was the best story I've ever told. Really, really was. Really, really was. But um, I think you guys will appreciate the aesthetics of it when it does come into fruition. When it does come into fruition. <laughs> oh, Christ. Christ on a bike. Right, there we go. There's all those little trinkety details on. I'm just going to go around the top um, here with some more details. These ones here that we've used on the others um and then i'll come back to you and we'll um i'll probably would have picked a window for the front bit there as well so hold on to your tits loves it's going to be a bumpy ride okay so that's what i've gone for another university window with some pillars and i've put some corbels up here because what would a build be by me without some corbels flopped in somewhere um so that's what we had to do and i'm wondering shall i put some bigger boys rather than sizing them down like, shall I do something like that? Christ. Oh, no. There we go. Ah, oh, stunning. Let me see. Oh! No, you look like you've got Mohican. No, we're not about that vibe. Not about that vibe at all. This is very nice. It's very nice. It's very flat at the minute. Um, And look at this fucking awful lighting. Um, So I think what I need to do is put on some ivy. Now, I'm not going to use the ivy of dreams. I think I'm just going to use the generic ivy that we've got in the game. Um, the university one. I think I'm going to use this one here on this build. Um, mainly because the build's quite small. And I think it would just look lovely. <laughs> that was an amazing bit of descriptive wording there, Aiden. Yeah, no, this ivy is suiting it. I'm doing it. Quite a lot of ivy as well. I want this to really be beautiful. 
I'm going to flop it all over. In an orderly fashion, of course. I do try to make my ivy look as natural as possible. Like it's clambered up from the, the depths of soil into a green beauty. <laughs> we'll leave that there. I can't take that any further. Yes, and also on the other side. <laughs> We're doing it on the other side as well. We're doing it live, darling. So We're going to do it live. Do I want to go all the way up? I kind of do. I kind of do. I think we'll go up higher here with this one. And a bit more bush into the middle there. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Um, and maybe just a little size down piece just there. Because that ending looked funny. Oh, stunning. That's better. Yes, I'm for that. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to carry on. I'm going to carry on up here. I'm going to carry on. And then maybe link it in from that side as well. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that that's that's filling me with joy. I'm for they're happy about it by the looks of things as well. So I'm very much for that. Okay, I think to finish off, what I'm just gonna do is just place some trees around. They might not necessarily stay here, but I just want to see what this build would look like. I wanted to do something like this. Like in that kind of fashion at the front. Oh, I'm for that. Absolutely for that. Can I remember where they are though? Not on your Nelly, darling. Not on your Nelly. Right, so you were there. And then you, you'd probably be better off, like, on an actual tile itself or a grid space, shall I say. Um, and you were on this bit and you were four out. So you were there. And then you are down here, round about there. Let me see that. Oh! Oh, I'm for it! <laughs> oh, I yeah. am. Yes. Okay, this is looking nice. I like how this house is looking. It's coming along spiffingly. We'll get, we'll choose all the flooring and stuff out here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. These stairs might change as well. I don't know what we're going to do there. And what I'm not liking is this flat wall bit here. So I might put some hedges in the front of this. It's going to be a very glamorous area, it really is. So we'll be back with this tomorrow anyway, loves. We'll be back with it tomorrow. More exterior work. We'll make a start on the pool house probably. Um, it would be nice to have the pool house like with a view. But then I want this house to be very private. So I'm not sure about that. You wouldn't want to see a celebrity. Well, you would want to see a celebrity in their skin piece while they're swimming. But I want this house to be very private. So I don't know where I'm going to do it. Don't know, but we'll we'll think of something. Um, but yes. So this is it. This is it for today. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. And we'll carry on with it then, my darlings. There we go, my loves. Part one of the chateau completed. We made a start on the exterior. We'll come back tomorrow, do more details and whatnot to it. Yes, we will indeed. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. Let's have some lovely comments in the comment box below. Um, I'm trying to catch up with comments at the minute from my previous two videos. So don't be disheartened. I promise I will read every single one. Um, but yes, thank you so much. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.